Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Clark's Farm Please don't forget to like the videos and subscribe to the channel because you get notifications of our videos out every Sunday um, This week we are doing a bit of digger work um, up in a field of sorting drains out and stuff like that um, Also showing you about digger work Gavin's doing on this new site and I have a new drinker and stuff to put up as well and another dead calf unfortunately um, so yeah that's where we're at let's get at it so today we are up in the ground that we call highs uh, the ones that we put the cows and calves on to last week um, <clears throat> this is the field just the right hand side of the lane that we fenced off last year this is all waste ground that we never placed last year so it's come into a good bit of shape um, obviously there's that big hump in the middle of it if you wanted to take it out we could but um one problem we had with this here was there was no water in this bit of feet so the plan is now there's water inside this shed here so i'm going to take the water pipe out the back and put a drinker in this wall um so at least then we'll be able to put a few freezing bottles or something on that or well actually we're gonna we're gonna put the cows and calves let, let them have access across it um, so they have a bit more grass in this here too they can graze away with this um, yeah so at least I'll have the drinker up here and they'll have water at it uh, then the other mission we have is we took the digger up a field over the very far end I'll show you it in a while um, the drain's blocked in it it's absolutely soaking wet water running down it and that was never a wet field um, so I, uh, we're going to take in the clearing the drains in as well but we'll get this drinker done first so in the shed here um, in this wee small tree yip pipe here um, which is smaller fittings than we would usually use so uh, the drinker I have the fit in it is the 22 mil blue pipe so my plan is now to cut this pipe, cut a section out of it and put a section of blue pipe in the middle of it we'll use these adapters, two adapters on here and then take a T-piece out through the tin and down to where we're going to put the drink on the other side um, yeah so we'll, we'll nip these here now and put the fittings on it So that's the pipe teed into. Um, yeah, so it's pseudo spat in that blue pipe anyway for our drinker. So just use our spanners here now for tightening the water fittings. We'll give them a quick tighten up and we'll get the drinker on. Thank you. 
That should be all right. Just wait it up. Can I cut anything? So, this is our drinker here. Um, just went for now, one of the stainless steel ones, the same ones if you put in the calf pen. Um, and do the job properly. Um, yeah, so, I sort of marked out roughly where I wanted. I just need to drill now and drill the two holes here. So, um, you just got two of them wee thunderbolts there. Um, just screw them into the hole here now. We'll get her fixed up. That's a good job. We'll um, go and get the fittings for it now and we'll get this pipe connected up. So that's the floating all fitted in there. Just had to tighten that all up there with the spanner. So it's all fitted in tight now. Hopefully we'll just be able to connect up this water pipe. Switch the water back on and please God there's no leaks. So I know them wee small pipes can be a nightmare because they don't have the wee collar inside them. So hopefully we have no leaks. We'll get this connected up in here. Just let the header tank fill up here and see if we have any drips. Hopefully not. No! Ah, come on! Right. Give this now, tighten up, see what it does. Ah, all sorted. All I was just need to push, it wasn't pushed in there far enough. So, look at that for a wee beauty there. We get the wee cover back on here now, and that will be a mighty fine job. Well, I think I would call that job officially a success. Great job. So, at least that's that feel. Fully usual now. We'll let the cows and calves across. We'll let them scope the whole lot though, it's, it's, too, it's too small for all the cows and cows, but they can graze away at that now, ain't yeah. Um, we just run a lot of fence across and let them in there. Happy days. So, unfortunately today, we had another casualty on the farm. Um, we lost another calf, unfortunately. That calf was born about a week and a half ago. Um, here's the mother here. Yeah, she's always a good cow, um, she had plenty of milk and all. Um, the calf, as I say, was born about a week and a half ago. We had him in the shed here for a couple of days, was flying, doing 100%. Then we tagged it, black legged it, and put it out to the field last Saturday. Then on Wednesday, we noticed it just wasn't doing as well. Um, just wasn't, it just wasn't right in the field. So I said I'd keep an eye on So Thursday morning it went up and looked at him and now he was lying in the corner and it was raining. I said he's not, it just didn't look well at all. So got the trailer, got him gathered up and then took him down to the vet. And the vet, the scar was running out of him. The vet, I uh, said he was dehydrated, so give him a drip of dehydration, give him uh, antibiotic, Give him pain relief and says test is done and it wasn't crypto, it wasn't coccidiosis, it wasn't it, 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 test of five things. I can't think of what all that was tested for, and it was none of them. Now, he did notice that there was white in his eye, um, so but he wasn't sure what would have caused that. Um, 
But unfortunately then on Friday night then he died. Um we were feeding him, tube feeding him and all and as you're feeding him the scar was running out of him and all. So I just curious to see have any of you had that white in behind the eye i was talking to an eye guy there and he was telling me he says that's usually something to do with the brain um but yeah if you've had that before and um what do you think it is just i'd like to know what it, it could be and um just uh, i was th i was tying out the idea of sending the calf away for post-mortem to see what it was um but yeah, it's just not nice to see. It was good calf, it was good bull calf. Um, it's a pity now as well. I'm not sure if we're gonna put a calf on her or not now. Um, probably will just to, I mean, run her all year for nothing. Like. But anyway, yeah, so if any of you ever had that or seen anything like that, let me know what you's, what you've done or what experience it was. Um, just so we can learn from it. Just down here. And then to check the uh, few angus buds we've out. Uh, need a fresh bit of grass, so me and Gavin here are going to shift them down the road here. Hopefully, if they decide to come out the gate. Wish we made a movement here, every now. Anyway, I'm really happy with how they're doing. Good for shape for the age of them, like. You just need to keep the fresh grass going to them. Um, ground dries up a bit. I'd say we'll put them into last year's reseeding. Um, if you remember last year, that one field we reseeded, we had it six paddocks and we had 14 bullocks on it and it kept them going the whole year. Um, so I'd say we'll probably use that approach again this year. Either that or we're going to call it for silage, but I'd, I'd say that just works away. Well. I'd, I'd say we'll probably just do that again. Uh, maybe even chance if we get a couple more on it, maybe. But I'd say that's what we're going to do. There's a bit of that bit of ground now. All hilly ground, but good and dry. There's a lot of, a lot of nice grass out there for them, so that'll keep them going for now, a week or two. In this field, how to tell you about um, it is an absolute swamp. Look at the river that's running down through it, and it runs right down through across and it goes across the far side of that hill and just leaves a big wet patch through it. Hold on, this is the field that we cut for a few years. Um, never really a wet field, but there's a drain off here somewhere that's blocked. Gary's just here in the digger here trying to find it. Um, yeah, it's just a matter of hoping about trying to find the end of the vein. Some water there. It was starting to go away, it started to circle, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, um, 
guy who's digging there, he found two concrete blocks. So what we assume is um, the manhole or something, a built manhole. Block built to block the end of the thing. Um, so we're going to go back here. We're digging this out now, sort of back from up there to let the water away. So we'll either, we'll either do the things, we'll either find the pipe here or we will let the water away so we can add the manhole to the thing. See if we can rod it to do something. So we, the end of the pipe is down there. There's a river runs to the far side of that gate and the water is going into it. Uh, I get back to you there, I think it's over there. Come on back over there. Close to you. See just that, that big stone there? Just like two inch clean stone there, I think. Yeah, look, there's what it is there. You can see the water running away there. Now you can see it running away there. Look at the flow of water going into that. No wonder the thing was swamp. So, with that whole dug over there, um, I think we've found the drain. So we've just left the water filling up there, filling up the hole to see if it's getting away. I think it's getting away. Um, now we went back to come down through here, just from this top. There's a bank down here and the water runs off this bank. So I think there's a, another drain here somewhere. It seems to be blocked, so we'll red this out here and we're at it too. So, at least we found the drain here now. I'm gonna fill this back over the side, let's put that mail bag in, but bucket lid will have it stopped the side dropping into it. Um, so, we will uh, have to go to the other side of the fence here to see if there's something blocking it back there. Uh, so, hopefully, we'll be able to find out what the problem is, but at least we know what the water's getting away there, getting away there fine. Um, problem's back here, but. That's our drain there. Just take an hour bucket out. Yeah, there we go. So that'll catch all down there and away. Leave that bit of drying now. Good job. Just sort of level this back out here again now. And try and tidy it up. 
they say now we're not dry and sorry we actually dry out uh, so hopefully i would like to now cut the sides off this this year but it'll take a bit of drying that's the same if them drains had a good windy day the other day now fair drying but the them drains sorted out hopefully that'll solve the problem so uh, the plan is now I'll just run an electric fence across from here to that gate, open that up and let the cattle go in there, eat the silage, drink the, the super new drink out there is and then that'll do them for an odd day or two and I'll shift them on next week. So um, we're out in the field that we reseeded last year, um, mountain of grass out there but Gavin is starting to build a site on it. So he started to do the digger walk and uh, he got this digger in here and I have never seen one of them before. It's an emerald digger. Um, two to hand she is. Says she's an absolute animal thing to go. Serious power on it. But I just thought she was a rare looking yoke too. She's a bit like an owl like Hatchie or something. I don't know what she is. But um, the guy that owns it was importing them. Um, but yeah, it's quite a yoke. So she is doing his job, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just seen it. I said I'd show you it. We'll probably get a video up walking now next week. Um, gonna be starting to do a rapid digger walker tomorrow, so it'll not make this week's cut. But next week we'll get a bit of a video in action. Yeah. There she is. Right, guys. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for this week. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Get notifications of our videos out every Sunday. Also, drop any comments you have below, especially about that calf. Um, yeah, uh, check out the website for merch. And hopefully, you all don't have too much damage from Stone Cafe. Um, but yeah, all the best. Good luck.